Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the new DC Icon 6 inch scale Nightwing figure from DC Collectibles. Now, this figure comes packaged in a window box with the figure clearly displayed. You've got the white box with black highlights. Down below, you've got the DC Icons logo. Off to the side, you've got the name of the character, and it tells us this is figure number 24 in the series. On the side of the packaging, it tells us this figure is based on the Hush Silence storyline. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at all the figures in the wave, which are at comic and specialty shops now. So I looked at the Super Sons figures the other day, and then I should be taking a look at Supergirl probably in the next day or so. And these, for all intents and purposes, are the last wave of icons. They'll be switching to the new Essentials line next year. We will still be getting the diorama set with the Death of Superman featuring Superman and Doomsday. That's still coming this year. And then also they're reissuing the Rebirth Batman and Superman figures from the box set on single packaging. However, those figures will not have any additional hands or accessories. It'll be the exact same figures that came in the box set. And then finally down below it tells us this figure was sculpted by Derek Miller. All right, let's get this figure open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Okay, so for accessories, this figure comes with three different pairs of hands. So you get a pair of closed fisted hands, then you get a pair of hands where the left hand is kind of a grip hand, and the right hand is, is also kind of a gripped hand, but the thumb is kind of sticking up more. And then a third pair of hands where the left hand has got two fingers sticking out, the two end fingers, so it almost looks like he's giving the A-OK -okay sign. I think this may be uh, meant to be used with uh, the rope that he comes with. But then this other right hand is almost identical to this right hand here. So these two right hands are almost virtually identical. So they seem kind of redundant to me that we got two of them. Now switching out the hands is easy. You just pop off the hand you want to replace. You got the little peg on the hand, the hole in the arm, and then you just plug in the hand you want to replace it with and it should pop right in there and fits nice and tight. Nightwing also comes with a pair of batons like we often see with the character and these are done with just a black hard plastic. Now the figure does not have any place to store the batons on the figure itself but as long as you have one of the grip hands in he will hold them nice and tight. And then finally he comes with a batarang that has a rope attached to it. It's a real rope and on the end of the rope there's a little handle. The rope with the batarang attached and everything is about one foot long. So it's kind of cool that they actually gave him a working batarang. And you can have him hold the batarang in various type poses. And as long as you get this uh, batarang portion hooked into something good, I think you can have him like climb up a wall or something. The plastic on the, on the back here is, is pretty sturdy. So for the figure itself, I think they've done a pretty good job overall. I like the sculpting detail with the head. I like the way they've done the hair. You've got the little pieces of hair that kind of hang over his forehead, which I think look good. The hair is done with just a solid black color. Then he's got the black mask, which is sculpted on there, and the whited out eyes. Good skin tone and good coloring with the lips. So overall, I think they've done a good job of capturing the likeness of Dick Grayson with this figure. Then the rest, you've got just the black for the outfit, and you've got the blue. And these blue portions, these lines are actually sculpted in there, so I like that. And it's pretty solid, no real sloppiness with the blue. And it goes all the way down his arm and to his gloves and, and his middle fingers. So I like that detailing. I do have a little bit of black scratches here on the one shoulder, but that's not a big deal. And then the rest of the figure is done with just a black, a basic black color. And then he's got a more glossy black for the boots. So this figure stands just a little bit over six inches tall. Here's a comparison with the Icons Rebirth Batman figure, the Icons Batgirl, and the Super Sons Icons Robin figure. And I think the scale between these figures is pretty good. Here's a comparison with the Mattel Multiverse 6 inch Rebirth Batman figure. And then finally here's a comparison with a couple other 7 inch scale Nightwing figures from DC Collectibles. Okay so for articulation you can turn the head to the left and to the right and he can look down pretty good and he can look back a little bit. You can also pivot the head to the left and the right. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint so we can get his arm out about that much. And he's got good rotation there at the shoulder. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a double hinged elbow, so good bending there at the elbow. And he's got a rotation here on the lower arm, and then he's also got rotation at the wrist. Hinges on the hand, so you get up and down movement with the hands. 
He's got a midsection joint, so you've got rotation there at the midsection. You can also kind of pivot a little bit to the left and the right. Lily doesn't crunch down much there at the midsection, but does have an actual ab crunch type joint. So he can uh, crunch forward about that much, and then can look back about that much there. Does not have a waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints, and you can pull the legs down from the socket. So you can get the leg forward good and you can do the leg back pretty good. Does not have a true thigh swivel, but you do have rotation up high there at the ball joint. You've got a double hinged knee, so good bending there at the knee. You've got a rotation at the boot cuff and then hinges on the feet, so good up and down movement. And then this figure does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I think this is a pretty solid figure. I like the overall look of it with the sculpting detail. It has decent paint applications and pretty good articulation. Now this figure is hitting comic and specialty shops now. We'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com. There will be a link in the video description below. Also, if you're liking the backdrops that are featured in this video, be sure to check out extreme-sets.com. They're the ones that make those and they make a wide variety. If you're into things like toy photography and such, you definitely probably want to check them out. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.